What's up, hackers? Today I'd like to talk about some progress on Nemo. We just released version 2.3.3. You can see now we've got a little matrix clownfish on startup, which is pretty cool. Um, just a quick recap. We still have TV Be Gone, which shuts off TVs and projectors with the infrared. We've got a full suite of Bluetooth attacks, although it does look like Apple fixed the sour Apple crash. It no longer locks up phones. That's actually a good thing, in my opinion. And, of course, we've got our Wi-Fi. One of the first things I'd like to point out is Nemo Portal. I've updated a little bit, and it's got a nicer interface here. And we've got the URL for getting the credentials, but we can also change the SSID now. So when we browse to that, we can set a brand new SSID. It's going to remember that every time you boot because it saves it to EEPROM. But one of the cool things that we've got is when we go to Wi-Fi and we scan, we can pick any one of these and just pull it up. Wu-Tang Land, I like that. And now we can actually clone it in Nemo Portal 2. So you just hold the select button on whatever platform and it will clone the SSID and spin up a new Nemo Portal. Now this is just temporary. It'll go back to the original SSID that you've got set or the default. And of course, when we try to use the internet with our new Nemo portal, you can see that it's uh, showing up as Wu-Tang Land, and we have our fake login. So let's give this a shot. I say cancel and just use without internet first. So let's browse to HTTP 172.0.1 slash SSID. And you can see it lets us set a new SSID. And it's got the current one here, but it's just grayed out. We can call this whatever we want. And you'll see I've just entered hotel guest here. And you can see our Nemo portal with uh, Wu-Tang LAN. And if we change this, we get kicked off the Wi-Fi. And you can see it says hotel guest. So now we have to reconnect to Hotel Guest Wi-Fi if we want to continue playing around. And of course we get the evil portal again, and I've gone ahead and entered some credentials in there just to test with. And you can see that we now show one victim. As I had mentioned before, Nemo Portal will save credentials to the SD card. And we can actually pull those up. And there we go. And those are those are all the test credentials I've entered so far, but that last one is what I just typed in. Now I did mention that it does persist that captive portal like um, SSID that we created. So Let's go ahead and take a look. If we fire up Nemo Portal again, yeah, see, we still show Hotel Guest instead of the Nemo free Wi-Fi from default. Anyhow, that's kind of the rundown of how e Nemo Portal works. You can also go to slash creds on devices that do not have an SD card. Well, I mean, you could go to it if it does too, and you can see the credentials that have been gathered, at least in this session, in real time as well. So you don't have to have an SD card. This Nemo portal should work just fine on the Stick C as well as the card pewter. Yeah, that's the Nemo portal. Thanks for watching.